We are recapping and reliving every moment we've had in this 14th season of Ghana's Most Beautiful, all gearing up for what's about to take place on the 3rd of October. I am Cookie, and I'm still here with the beautiful Anita. Yay! <laughs> so which girls are coming on next, Anita? And so we have the beautiful Akosia and Menu. Join us, ladies. Okay, so that's Menu on the other side representing the Western region. And of course, behind me, our Kosi are representing the OT region, giving us some dance moves. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, wow. I need to have some choreography going on there. I know, right? Fantastic. Wow. You ladies look beautiful. Anita, the ladies yeah. are here. I, I, I'm actually mesmerized. I you know. ladies, there's this glow. Is it, is it the glow that comes Ooh. with being part of top six? I suppose that's, that's it. Finale glow. You know, the finale glow. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I said, that's the finale. So, you know, how blessed do you feel to be part of... Hey, you know, my man, Gazeri, you cry. That you said blessed. Yeah. I know what I mean. How blessed do you feel to be part of last six? Or let me say top six. It's I'm blessed beyond measure mm. to be part of the top six. Because truth is, I didn't see... It's happening at I a point. I saw the shock on your face the day you were actually made mm -hmm. part of the top six. I felt that you thought it wasn't supposed to be you. Was that the feeling? No, not okay. that it wasn't supposed to be me, but I didn't see it happening. Right, right. Because, I mean, you've been here for Akosia's journey. Mm. I started this with basically just my talents as I had them. And over the weeks, right. I've seen myself grow. Mm -hmm. Akosia has metamorphosed into... Uh, the woman of substance I wanted to be. And I think that has also resonated with people who have in turn supported me. Right. I've been lined up several times and... Many times. Many One times. One of the times you were standing me, be right by me <laughs> and she goes, I don't know what you You were so, so afraid moment, that night. The moment I was asked to go back to I was like, OT region is in the finals. OT is yeah. in the finals. Yeah. It was exhilarating. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I think it's actually the first time that a rep from your region has made it to the finals. So right. congratulations Thank you. on Thank that you. one. Because when we're reading out the stats last week, I realized exactly. that OT hadn't made it yet until you right. were called into the final six. Right. So that's a very, very big feat. Right. Congratulations Thank to you, you for Thank that you. one. Menu. So yeah, I've been wanting to ask you, your menu, is it actually the chief menu as in menu 10? Is it 10? And I'm second menu. child, menu. Oh, like second. Menu. Oh, so it's menu. Yes. I oh. know there's, the, the, there's a menu or something. I, oh, that's and as a menu. No, menu is for Ashanti. Bedou is 10. Bedou is oh, 10. Bedou oh, Bedou is 10. Menu. So oh. yours is menu. So you're the second child. No, I was named after a second child. Oh, <laughs> so that's why you got your name, menu. Yes. Please. It's a very special name. Thank until you. this until this season, I hadn't heard this name before, Menu. Right. But tell us, how has it also been for you? I feel overwhelmingly blessed, mm -hmm. beyond measure, actually. Right. Because I sit down and I look back. Did I see myself here? It hasn't been easy. It's been a roller coaster. There are moments when you're up there, and then all of a sudden, you are down there. <laughs> 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 it's like magic. And then you feel like, I've disappointed all of these people who are looking up to me. Mm who are voting for me, will they still vote for me even when I'm falling? It hasn't been easy. So by God's grace, I've been able to come this far. And my words cannot express my gratitude, actually. Before, I can imagine. Before I, I pass you to Anita, Anita, I just want to ask you a question. Who would, would have, which group would have been the biggest group that you would have disappointed if you didn't make it to top six? You know why I'm asking you? You know why? <laughs> I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so Menu is one who would always mention the ch her church's name in her intro. Yeah. Would it have been your biggest disappointment if you didn't make it to top six? The way they really be... No, my biggest... The people I would have been really, really hurt for mm. was my family, first oh, of all, before right. my church. Mm. Yes, because 
my family has shown me so much love. I mean, from day one, it's been them and me. Even when I'm down there, they keep motivating you. They won't tell you the bad stuff, obviously. Yeah. But they keep giving you a reason to move on, to be a better version of yourself. They keep telling you, you can do this. Just, just get up, rise up, and be better next Sunday. And you find that comfort, that, that zeal to rise up again and be you and be a better version of yourself in everything they have to say. So yes, my family is my rock. I love that. I love that. I mean, every, every Sunday they are here cheering you on, even from the comfort of your homes as well. And you ladies, I'm sure you've made them super proud. But it's been quite a journey, right? From the auditions to the launch and all of that. Well, these two ladies, they've had quite a journey. And so let's take a look at their journey so far. When we come back, the conversation continues. that does not honor its heroes but in this special case heroines is not worth dying for i remember when the white men's ships docked the shores years ago they came in and took power our resources were utilized our people were over exploited at our own detriment <laughs> of her hips, but I'm here to change that narrative. Can I introduce you to my sister, Selwa Kutu? Ladies and gentlemen, honorable judges, please join me. Traditionally, women have served as queen mothers and queens. And in certain cases, they have served as political chiefs, holding offices in their villages and towns. They have also held high positions in the economic life of their societies. The billionaire media executive and philanthropist traced her ancestry to the Pele tribe. It may then be safe to say that the opera is Liberian. She get Pele blood in her vein. Welcome to the Indapanda Festival, celebrated by we, the Kokombes in the Oti region. Indapanda means New Guinea corn drink. So in essence, the festival is celebrated to usher the new guinea corn in and its drink. I hope you have learned something tonight. Great. One thing I want you to take along is that in life, it is always important to know who you're dealing with. Choose your battles wisely. I think so, like Jessica. Many towns have rich stories behind their names. It's My name is Akosia, and I am proud to sing the melodies of the OT region tonight. Kumike Ifo, Kwa Brage, Midamunyinasi.
And we are still here with Menu representing the Western region. And of course, for the first time, the OT region has also made it to top six. And I'm sure they are jubilating. She's jubilating. So I'm sure that they are also jubilating in that region right about now. But listen, without the judges, I don't think that you two would have been here. We want to ask you a few questions about the judges' comments. But let's just go and take a look at some of the good things they told you and some of the not so good ones. We'll be right back. And I start here, and I look at crown, sir. Me, who nearby, but I just look at I was sitting in my chair and actually willing you to dance and move. It was a third act that I got you coming in. Next time, if you're going to perform, please ask for a lapel mic so that you can use both hands and feel free. Well, it was a very enchanting entrance and um, you fulfilled what I expected. Um, that was a very good rendition of what Nigeria is all about. As a Nigerian man will say, well done, you have Thank done you. it immaculately well. Thank you. <laughs> but let me move straight on to Janet and find out how I can see you're excited and you want to go to Tadi. <laughs> Oh, that was really nice. It got me dancing. And you know, I remember when I was a kid, we used to call them Kakamotobi or Emasi. You know, like when you did something bad, you say Emasi Babacho. But today, this thing has evolved and you have professionals. I'm going to contact you because I need to go dancing right there. I enjoyed it. Well done, man. Well done. This young lady is uh, a marvel. She got me laughing, Indeed. she got me convinced, and I think um, you are good. And anytime you want to do a comedy show, you can call on me, I'll, I'll help you. You're really good. Congratulations. Hello, Menno. Hello. Every time I see you, you bring a smile to my face. Why? Because your uniqueness is in the fact that you just lay your heart on the stage, you're true to yourself, and you deliver on point. A little hitches here and there, but you continue to be fierceless, and you continue to be engaging. Keep it up, Menu. <laughs> what I love about Menu, I told you, she's a fun girl. Somebody, it, it feels like you can hang out with Menu and not be bored. Mm. Thank you for focusing on what makes you unique. Keep going like this. Immediately I saw you, I just started laughing. I'm like, what else is she going? So your voice is not like AAA plus. But because you are so authentic, because you always leave your heart on that stage, you show your vulnerability, and this is what MENU stands for. The recital, I'll put it into inverted commas, was not so exciting until you started the dance, because that was uniquely you. No one probably would have done it the way you did it. And I'm happy today you, you know, you unearthed some shelves that you've been covering yourself with. I've been listening to you. Yes, please Thank keep you. up. Keep it up. You did well. She's such a lady. So everything she does, you just smile. But you know what, Charlie? The competition is getting tough. You know. So lady or not, you have to bring some energy you know, something that will make you stand out, something that only you can do and no one else can do. Jeanette, you're smiling again. Oh, Did you I, love the story? I loved it and I've learned something new and indeed, if this is a true, this was a real history story. You know what I loved about your delivery today? The ebb and flow of your voice, the change of the tonality. When you had to whisper, you whispered. You actually took me in there. I thought I was near the river when the sword was being swallowed. <laughs> And you know, you owned it. You, you really, really owned it and you brought the story home. Well done, girl. Thank you. Thank she you. Thank you. owned it. And I enjoyed the poetry part of it rather than the singing. Because like I said uh, the other time, when you choose to do something, you have to stand out and you have to be unique. The singing part of it was not a standout for me because it fell flat at certain spaces. But I think the poetry delivery saved you tonight. Thank you. So well done. 
I've watched you throughout this competition. One of the things that you come across as is that you're a very intelligent young lady. Um, one of the things I didn't pick up is the fact that you didn't come across as you were doing Chew and Paul. You actually came across as like you knew your stuff. Very up, I mean, across all today, you are one of the people who have come out so confidently, like, I know what I'm talking about. I really believe this and I'm passionate. Um, all right, so that's been Menu from the Western region. And of course, for the very first time, OT region has also made it to top six. And this beautiful lady, Akosia, is representing the people of OT. She's very elated, and I'm sure that that region is also very excited to see their very own in top six. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, so you two wouldn't have made it to top six without the judges who have guided and guarded you all the way to this very moment. Tell me. What was your lowest of lows from the judges? And which particular week was that? Um, I think lowest of lows. I would give it to the come celebrate with me night. Okay. And that was not just the, based on the judges' comments, but based on my performance. <laughs> I knew that day I could have done better. Right. And Auntie Jane was, was like, Akosia, how did you see your performance? And I was like, I could have, I, I just whispered I could have done better. She was like, it could have been better, right? And I knew it could have been better. I think the next was the One Africa. Oh, you didn't have a good one. Which country did you represent? Liberia, the land ah, of the free. And you actually imitated the accent. Yes, the, the colloquia, accent, yeah. And you were dressed like um, John yeah, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. How challenging was that night? Um... It was quite challenging, putting the um, act together and learning the dance and everything. And after my performance, I remember Auntie Jane's comments was that she I did okay. She enjoyed, she, she enjoyed my performance. And she expected the, the dance, more, the dance bit so. of my performance, I mm -hmm. think. And I think we, we went to Auntie Jane's um, salon and we, she, she had a mentorship session with us okay. where she taught us about branding. So she pinpointed things that she thought was unique about everybody. And she mentioned that, oh, Akosia, when I see Akosia, I think that she's a lady and, but I want to see if she's going to get dirty if she has to on stage. And so I think she had been trying to bring that out of me for quite some time. And then that night, just like, that night I wanted to do everything to dance. So, what's an attorney in Yikra by force? <laughs> I really yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. And then I did the dance and she said she enjoyed that bit. I think when I went backstage, it hit me a bit. I didn't go down too well with me because there was a part where she said she didn't enjoy my. I was like, Makasa Tintin say, Mami, see what I enjoy until, <laughs> until I danced. But later when I took it into perspective and everything, I realized that what she said was quite true in the sense that when I was very young, I loved to dance. I would gather the kids in the house and then I hear your choreography and things like that. But that is a part of me that I had tucked away for quite a long time because of the kind of things that I had grown up doing, getting into these days. So, yes, I was glad she brought that up. It brought memories to me. And, yes, it's made me a better person. I see. Hmm. Meru, Hi. your lowest moment. My lowest oh, so, moment, hmm. Hmm, I would say, was our very first night here, hmm. my region. That night, I remember Auntie Jane said she loved my drama, but my delivery lacked some content that she would have loved if I had said a little bit more history about the Kundum dance. And you know, that was initially part of my script, but I took it out because of the time. So I actually learned a lot that night. That night actually made me, because it taught me to not take out very good content in my aim to be on time, right? The second one was my re no, not my region, um, Heroines of my region, that night, 
I remember I fumbled on stage. <laughs> it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy putting things together, coming to stand here, and you're on stage, and you almost go blank, but you have to pick up and continue. <laughs> yes, that night, too, was Auntie Jane who commented on my performance. And she noticed that I struggled a bit. There were a few technical hitches. I mean, not technical. I mean, there were a few hitches here and there, but I still picked up. But that actually made me very sad because I felt I could have done better. So when I went backstage, I was really down. I was just, I was just so sad because so many people believe in you. They are looking up to you. And you are presenting a heroine of your region. Why fumble when presenting a heroine? It was just a sad part of my life. All right, Anita. Yeah. Enough, enough of the low moments. The low moments. Let, let's do some happy moments, Anita. E exactly, ladies. I'm sure you've had lots of high moments. Moments that you won awards, moments that you felt like, ah, this one, dear, I really performed and I'm proud of myself. I'm going to Akosia. Because you have a smile on your face. I mean, once I started talking, <laughs> tell us about some of them. You started bringing memories the moment you, you talked about the high moments. I think my first was my region. Wow. I was, I was so nervous. I wasn't sure how the whole GMB journey was going to go. And on my first night, I got nominated for all three awards, star performer, Miss Eloquent, and then the best dressed. It's like, okay, it was, it was one of the greatest moments for me. And then during that week when I was preparing for the act, I remember I was a bit skeptical about what I had put together. I was so, I did the, Multi diversity, the cultural diversity in OT region, where I wanted to drive the message home that the OT region was culturally diverse and that there were Akans, there were Cucumbers, there were Guants in the region. And with the way I started it, I wasn't so sure. I was scared it was going to go down a bit tribalistic. But then, with the help of the crew, we were able to shape it into a good act. And then I think another night was the heroines. That night, I fumbled a bit. And then I said, forgive me, the no-no of public speaking. But after my performance, Auntie Jigbadi commented, and then she said, Akosi, I've looked at you throughout the competition. And one thing I can tell is that you are, you are an intelligent lady and do not belittle yourself. I need you to bring that on stage. That stuck with me forever. I was like, someone sees you. It was, after fumbling like that, it felt like, okay, that was a very kind thing to do. And if I felt seen that day, that was one of my greatest moments. Greatest moments. I love oh, that. And I'm, I've never I'm seen forget. a different side of you, actually. Are you? I am. <laughs> Totally different side from the Akosia that walked up on stage when we we're doing the launch at Independence Square. You look very calm, but now there's this, you, you've broken out of your shell, yeah. I, I, and I love it. I love it, and I'm sure our viewers right. are loving it. And so right. we're looking they forward are. to see more of that on stage on the third, right? Definitely. I love Definitely. that. Now to you, Medu. You've won Star Performer. You've won other awards. Great comments from the judges. Tell me your, your, your best, like the ones that really, really, really made you proud of yourself. Hmm. Every time you're like, hmm. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> I know, so when you ask her a question, she's like, hmm. Hey, it's, it's good. It's a hey, sempi. Sempi. <laughs> it never starts easy. That's the point. My very first performance that I really, really hold dear to my heart was the talent night. I remember. <laughs> I remember preparing for that show. It wasn't easy at all. I, as at Thursday, I didn't know what I was doing because I, th I was thinking that comedy was my stronghold. And so I wanted to do something comedy-like. But then again, you cannot do what someone else is doing. And then there was someone doing something about comedy. So I'm like, God, what do I do? I didn't know what to do. And so someone suggested the Yabuatima song to me. I didn't even know how to sing it. I had to go learn the song. People had to assist me. I had to come and stand here at night, even after rehearsal. Come and do extra rehearsal. You're kidding. I'm not lying to you. I don't understand it. Hmm. Insempi. <laughs> Insempi. She's put in a lot of a work. A lot. So that night, after the whole thing, when um, Uncle Fritz was like, that was a great way of ending the show. 
Well done, my girl. That's that's common. Never forget it. I will never forget it because it wasn't easy. But by God's grace, everything ended beautifully. And I'm so grateful to him. And I think the second one would be the very first time I won Star Performer. The, the night I did something on Anchors. Mm. It was so great. That night, I wasn't expecting it. But I had nominations for all three awards. Right. It was so amazing. To God be the glory. Amen. Indeed. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Now, I've heard, I think, um, Judge Janet always tell you that you're such a lady. And I remember you just mentioned that that phrase that Uncle Fritz used for you. What did he say again? Well, well done. Well done, my girl. Well done. my. I, I say it meant a whole lot to oh you. Lord. So yeah. you two tell me, what are the lifetime lessons you're taking from the comments of these judges? How could I'll start with you. For me, Auntie Jane's comments to me for the last few weeks where she, she'd been trying to, you know... Bring the best out of me. Bring the best out of me. Yeah. Get me out of that. It was... For me, it has, it has taught me a lot. It taught me to, like, in, like I said in Koloqua, break my back mm. for my region. Mm. Because that, that was what some of my fans were also saying as well. And it taught me to break my back for them. It taught me to go all out to get what I, I mean, to get the work done, basically. Right, That's right. what it taught me. Okay. Yes. I know. Your lifetime biggest lessons from these judges. My biggest lesson I would say that I've learned from each and every one of the judges right. is to shine in my uniqueness. Mm. That is what I've learned from each and every, because studying all the comments that have come across to me from them for, after all my performances, one time... Auntie Jane made me know that the night we did Heroines of, Heroines of Our Region, I fumbled, yes, but she was still happy that I was still able to pick up. And after that night, yeah, but yeah, my you girl, loved that night. I loved it. It, it was, was the <laughs> highlight of, of, of your lifetime <laughs> here, TMB 2021. Wow. So each and every time, I feel like, when I shine in my uniqueness, people love it. Right. So why not do that? Mm. I, I always want to do I, I always want to do what I'm best at because whenever I come out, they love it. And so that's just what I do. And that's what I've learned from all of them. To God be the glory. <laughs> all right. I love that. I, I mean the, the judges it means they've done a great job. They have. And I love that you're accepting all the comments they've yeah. passed in good faith. And I, I love it. You ladies are amazing. Yeah. And that is what GMB is about. Exactly. I mean, exactly. you have to be better, a yeah. better version of yourself yeah. than when you came. And so on the night, that is the 3rd of October, ladies, it's going to do what? It's <laughs> choke. It's choke, right? Choke already. <laughs>